Hey guys, and welcome back to Wrath of the Druids in Valhalla. Today I want to show you how to increase your Dublin Renown as fast as possible. So your Dublin Renown is kind of like your... You know, your ranking of your you, the, the Dublin city. You can see it goes up to 5. You will start at 1, obviously, and you have to get this all the way to 5. And if you do so, the, the town itself actually gets upgraded. So there's a massive castle here. Instead of just the, the, the like, long ship kind of, um, you know, like the long haul kind of vibe. And as you upgrade your renown with Dublin, you will also receive three armor pieces for the Dublin Champion armor set, which basically increases your range damage and self damage and adds an additional increase to both your range damage and stealth damage. It's such a weird effect for gear here. So if you're going for the assassin vibe, this is probably a really good set to use. The other two pieces you will find by killing the two Drenger inside the world of Ireland. Now to increase your renown, it's not really super simple. Like one would think you'd have to do a bunch of quests, but you actually don't have to do any quests really. Well, you do, but like it's not the, the what's going to give you experience. We're going to head to this icon here. You can see on the map here, it looks kind of like a a like flag with a like a a, a sack of gold in the middle, right? So basically, we're going to meet this this trading lady who we'll see at the beginning of the expansion kind of storyline, Azar. And every time you want to increase your renown with Dublin, you will actually have to go here and do what do you have today, and you will actually have to trade. So you will have to trade these resources that you collect here. You'll see there will always be different trade contracts, and some of them will actually be repeated. So if you go all the way down here, you can see here, like it has the repeat kind of like little circle thing, means it keeps going on, and these are awards will give you silver here. So this is as you're getting towards the, the end of the game like I have. I'm still trying to get some of the, the other things like here, like there's a spear, there's... Some, some interesting armor sets that you can find. There's there's a lot. I recommend the Egyptian greatsword because it looks absolutely amazing. I love the look of the stand weapon, dude. It looks sick. It just it just doesn't perform as well as I would want it to though. So like I was saying, if you purchase all of these things here using right click or the thing to deliver all of these different things, you will actually be able to complete the thing. So if I go and I complete this one over here, which I can, you can tell you can complete it by when the, the things are highlighted in like that yellow line so that you can actually give all the stuff. And as you trade in all of your resources here, your clothing, your texts, your delicacies, and your luxuries, you'll be able to claim these special awards. But not only that, is every single time that you leave Azar over here and, you, and you're done, you will actually receive a experience to your renown level so every time you buy more stuff there you'll be able to increase your renown with dublin even further now there's a bunch of ways to actually get those those four different resources the clothing the, the you know delicacies and blah 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 first of all there is a chest right next to a czar and this fills up over time this is kind of like a mobile game thing here you can see on the right side there it shows the cap on the right and how much it's generated in the chest right now so if i go and i'll loot this chest here you will see i will receive all of those different things and they'll all start at zero again right and it, and it just went up against so like four two four four right now i have a lot of things buffing that so i'll, I'll talk about that in a, in a few seconds but if I go back to Azar now, you will see I can actually purchase a bunch more things. Like, check over here. I can now purchase this. I can now purchase this one over here. And basically, you'll be repeating this process a few times until you've managed to buy everything that you can, well, you know, buy. Now you'll notice my chest has a very high cap limit for a bunch of the different items, whereas when you start in Dublin, you don't exactly have these high amounts. You have to unlock them. And the way you do that is by going to these trade posts. You'll see these will at first be like these weird icons on the map here. And you can see if I hover over this one here, it, it has a plus two texts generated per minute. And this obviously is generated directly into this chest right over here. So if you go around the world and you go and you secure every single trade post that you can find, you'll see that there are quite a few. There's literally um, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven trade posts in the world that you can collect or unlock, right? And there's three different buildings at each one that will actually allow you to add upgrades. Like for example, the one that you're looking for the most is the storehouse. You'll see there it says buildings and it has like a tick mark. The storehouse building is the one that increases how many um, items this chest can hold. So instead of like 200 clothing, I can now hold 480. So it just makes it more worthwhile. And because all of those trade posts are constantly collecting resources as you're playing, every hour or two, you can actually come back here, maybe every 30 minutes really, you can come back here and collect the resources so that you can up your renown level with um, Azar over here with your Dublin renown. 
Another way to get those resources if you are looking for them is through just normal yellow chests that you can find in the world. When you go there and you loot the small chests, you'll often get a few amount of special resources as well. But if you're really trying to get specific materials really quickly, then the best way is to actually go to the, the little bird box thingy. I don't know what to call it. And when you go here, it's kind of like this place where the pigeons land and you can interact with it and you'll have three quests that you can select that will award you iron or some other kind of reward, like leather, and then also your main kind of reward. Like there, there you can see on this one, Retribution, we will actually receive a reward of 30 texts. This one gives us 30 delicacies. And this one gives us 40 um, like trade goods, which is for um, building the buildings at your trade posts. So you can accept the quest there, and there's multiple locations that you can actually accept them. You'll find this icon pretty much all over the map. You can see there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there, there. Like, there's there's a bunch of them. It's also a cool way to play in the end game. So, like, normally in Assassin's Creed, like, once you reach the end, like, it's like, oh, fuck, everybody's dead. Where can I go to find people to kill? You can literally just go to these places, get some missions, and it will, like, respawn enemies at different, like areas where they where you've like cleared out before and you can actually go back there and fight everybody again so you can actually keep playing essentially and testing out new weapons and builds so when you do accept one of these pigeon quests all you have to do is see it over here or you can track it in your actual quests like over here you'll see it has the little icon and if i go to this one right over here you can see it gives 30 delicacies and 52 iron now i'm going to select this and i'm going to go there and i'm going to show you something now we're heading to the quest section there, but you can see every single quest has this King's Plea kind of part, right? So we, our main objective here is to clear this camp. We have to kill everybody in this camp that we're heading towards, but the King's Plea says remain undetected. Now, it, it, that might be quite difficult. Some of these things are really actually difficult to stick towards, but if you do manage to actually complete it, you can see here, this one gives us 30 delicacies, right? But if we manage to remain undetected, we'll actually get about 50 to 100% more rewards. So we might get 60 or 45 delicacies instead of 30. However, if we are detected, we will just get the base 30. So this is the absolute minimum amount of rewards that you can get. But if you actually do the please, you will get double or half plus like plus half. But if you actually complete the please, you'll actually get up to double or sometimes just another half. So like 15 or 30 more than the 30 that's originally given. Yep, I failed right off the bat, so you can tell I'm, I'm not so good at it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to up your renown for Dublin, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching.